Good day everyone. Before I will present to you our topic, let me introduce first my groupmates. So my groupmates are Kimney Bernos, Chome Jean Claire, Donasco Jerome, Truly Yours, um L- L- Lakyo Ana Laika, Nini July Ann, and Jovelin Tihano. So this is our reflective teaching lesson worksheet in math module. And our topic is, we decided that our topic will be illustration of quadratic equation in grade 9. So, our objectives are, first, I can use the different method of finding the solution of quadratic equation. Second, I can illustrate and solve problem in solving quadratic equations. And third, I can show interest in solving examples of quadratic equations so as we go through our um, our discussion as i show to you this uh reflective teaching lesson worksheet this uh, we can attain all of these objectives so let's proceed now introduction our activity is the name of our activity is arrange me so our direction is arrange the letter of the words so we have <coughs> words here a scrambled letter three scrambled letters and then what will you going to do is to arrange this scrambled letter into words so you can form three words in this scrambled letter so now this is the scrambled letters next Second activity, guess me. So, direction. Using the picture, guess the words or sentence. So, using this three f- picture, f- in the first picture, so you that the students will identify what would that uh, picture illustrate. So, with the second picture and the third picture. In this activity, arrange me and the second activity, guess me. So, out of this activity, the students can have an idea on what would be our topic. So, so this session will be discussing about the quadratic equation and the, dif- and the different function of solving quadratic equation. So, what is, qua- what is quadratic equation? Quadratic equation are two variables polynomials poly, polynomial equation of the kind fx is equals to ax2 plus bx plus c where a b c r and a n are all zero in the gener- generic form of quadratic equation in which the leading coefficient is a and the absolute term of of f is c or x the root of the equation the root of the quadratic equation which is the comma are the values of x that fulfill the quadratic equation there will be there will always be two roots of quadratic equation roots can have either a true or fiction, fictitious nature. So when you say fictitious, it is uh, relating. It is related to one another when you say fictitious. So third, the content. Solving the quadratic equation can be difficult, but luckily there are several methods that we can use depending on what type of quadratic equation quadratic that we are trying to solve the four method of solving quadratic equation are factoring using the square roots completing the squares and the quadratic formula so first we have the factoring so now i will uh, explain to you on how to solve uh, what is factoring and factoring and how to factor the quadratic equation so set the equation equals to zero For if the quadratic side is factorable factor then set each factor equal to zero like for example this given here 
So, x squared is equals to 5x minus 6. So, the move all item to uh, another side. So, uh, here, the you, you just transfer 5x. Then, when you transfer uh, negative 6, it will be to another side. It will become positive 6. So, we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equals to 0. Then, factor. So, the factor of 6 is x plus 3, x plus 2 is equals to 0. So, x plus 3 is equals to 0 and then x plus 2 is equals to 0. So, x is equals to 3 and then x is equals to 2. Two. That is factoring. And now, let's proceed to principles of square root. In the quadratic equation involves squares and constant or no first degree term, position of square root on one side and constant on the other side, then the square root of both sides. Remember, you cannot take the square roots of the of a negative number. So, so if this process leads to take the square root of the negative numbers, there are no real solution. First solution, x squared minus 16 is equals to 0. Then move the constant, which is 16. So x squared is equals to 16. Then take the square root of both sides. So you take the square root of x squared is and the square root of 16. So the square root of x squared is equals to x and the square root of 16 is equals to 4. So x is equals to positive and negative 4 which means x is equals to 4 and x is equals to negative 4 example 2 ex move uh example 2 <clears throat> 2 times x plus 3 squared minus 14 move the constant to the other side so move the constant 2x plus 3 <coughs> squared minus 14 isolate the square root so divide it by a you divide it by 2 then it will become x plus 3 squared is equals to 7 because negative 40 out oh, 14 divide 2 it will become 7 then take the square root of both sides so you will take the square root of x plus 3x squared, then the square root of 7. Solve for, then solve for x. Then e x plus 3 is equals to positive negative square root of 7 because 7 is not perfect square. So x is equals to negative 3, positive negative square root of 7. Then let's proceed to number 3, completing the square. So if the quadratic equation of the first ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a is, is not equal to 0, and then the quadratic equation, quadratic exp expression is not factorable. Try completing the square. Example, x squared plus 6x minus 11 is equal to 0. Im important. If a is not equal to 1, divide all terms by a before proceeding to the next step. So, move the constant to the right side and supply the blank on the side. So, the blank here, are, here is, uh, to supply the blank, the blank is b over 2 squared. So, it will become x plus 6 x squared plus 6 x plus b over 2 squared is equals to 11 plus b over 2 squared then then the x here the b here is 6 so it will become 6 over 2 which is when you divide it it will become 
3. Then 3 times, then you squared the 3. So 3 squared is equals to 9. So, by adding b over 2 squared to, vo to both of the equation, it will derive x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equals to 11 plus 9. Factor the quadratic side. Then, x plus 3 times x plus 3 is equals to 20. Which is the perfect square because you just made it the way. Then, then, then write the, write in the perfect square from take, <clears throat> then write the perfect square. So, x plus 3 squared is equals to 20. Take the square root of both sides. So, the square root of x plus 3 squared is equals to square root plus positive negative square root of 20. So, the square root of x plus 3 squared is equals to x plus 3. Then, the square then positive negative square root of 20. So for x because 20 is not a perfect square. So when you solve for x, x is equals to negative 3 positive negative square root of positive negative 2 square root of 5. And now let's move to quadratic formula. Any quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to 0 can be solved for both real and imaginary solu solution using the quadratic formula. So, our quadratic formula is x is equals to negative b positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, here is the example. So, x squared plus c 6x minus 11 is equals to 0. Then, identify for A, B, C, which is A is equals to 1, B is equals to 6, C is equals to negative 11. Then, substitute. Substitute the value. Then, we, we derive x is equals to negative 6, positive negative square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 11 over 2 times 11. Then, solve. E it will become 6 x minus x is equal to negative 6 positive negative square root of 36 plus 44 over 2. Then, x is equal to negative 6 square root of 80 over 2. Then, simplify the radicals. x is equal to 6 negative 6 positive negative 4 square root of 5 over 2 then x is equals to negative 3 positive negative square root of 5 this is the final simplified exact answer now let's proceed to the drill this is our drill uh, the, the, the direction uh, identify which of the quadratic equation and prove so we have here six a uh, drill or exercises. It can be done group or individually. Then we have an attached uh, question, which you can answer this one also. In what daily life situation can we apply method of solving quadratic equation? Then assessment, assessment instructions in this is the instruction solve the following quadratic equation and find the solution it can be done um by individually uh, we have four examples in each uh four examples in each type of quadratic equation so what you will do here is to solve and find its solution then here in the reflection Instruction, check the box that corresponds to your answer to each indicator. So, here we have three indicators. First, I can use the different method of finding using solution of quadratic equation. Second, I can illustrate and solve problem involving quadratic equation. Third, I can sh 
show interest in solving examples of quadratic equation. So, you can see in the indicator, it can be seen in our objectives. This is our objective. So, here, the students will make checklists if they are poor, fair, good, or excellence. And then, we have a follow-up question. So, what topic did you find difficult? What topic you love the most? What topic you need help? So, then, think of instance of that you have encountered quadratic equation in real life situation. How did you manage and solve it? The, here, the students will also answer. Then, we have reflections. Take a minute to think back and answer the following question. Uh, the students must be honest in answering this question. First, what was the easiest part of the lesson today? What is the hardest? Then third, what was the favorite parts of part or activity today? What was the best part of acti or activity? What did you learn that do you think will use you in the future? Here in the making reflective uh, teaching lesson worksheet, in it is very important so that the teacher can identify if his or her students had learning learnings and it is um, very useful so that the teacher can change his or her strategies in teaching if ever the students make it uh, it is can make it hard for them so this is all for today and thank you very much